um, is my nervous system is overstimulated from uh, early trauma. Years of high stress and lack of proper sleep. Is it connected to brain overstimulation? Does unbalanced um, nervous system perpetuate chronic pain? The answer is yes. And how do we gradually bring the nervous system back into balance? The Pain Solution Summit has, I interviewed about 30 experts on dealing with chronic pain and how are the different ways that you can manage your chronic pain. Chronic pain is not a simple and easy process to treat. You really need to take a multidisciplinary approach to dealing with chronic pain. If you don't, your results are not going to be as good as you'd like them to be. So I, again, I encourage you, if you haven't uh, purchased, gotten the VIP pass to purchase the summit or have seen some of the episodes of the summit, uh, pick, or what I find is that people pick and choose certain episodes that are of particular interest to them. But also because as a host of the summit and a former family physician, now a holistic physician who specializes in magnetic field therapies, I suggest you fully inform yourself. And when you own it, you'll be able to go back and retrieve it and re-read, re-watch, re-listen to uh, many of the different episodes. It'll be a, a, it's more than a book. It's 30 hours of basic of information for you to have access to for an ongoing basis. And when you're dealing with chronic pain, um, you're gonna be dealing with this probably to a great extent for the rest of your life. So having this as a resource is well worth it very well worth it. So I strongly encourage you to get the VIP pass. Um, now to go back to the question of nervous system being overstimulated from early trauma. Now all, there's all kinds of trauma. There is PTSD type trauma, there's physical trauma, there is toxic trauma, if you will. Anytime that you injure cells, you're going to have that um, trauma essentially. Physical trauma, like a car accident or falls or concussions, tra traumatic brain injuries, um, all of these can cause damage and inflammation in the brain, which can end up being within the nervous system itself, within the spinal cord and nerves anywhere in the body. So yes, the nervous system becomes hyper excitable. Um, so if you want to be able to deal with that, Again, the chronic pain summit is an important part of this. A lot of this has to do with your own mindset. A lot of this has to do with your own uh, stress reduction techniques, meditation techniques, and many, many other techniques that are, are discussed in the summit. Beyond those, I do strongly recommend the use of magnetic field therapy. It's a physical modality. Uh, it's not an emotional modality. It's not a mental modality. It's not a supplement. And you need supplements and you need adequate nutrition, which are also discussed in the webinar or in the summit series. Those are all very important foundational elements to be able to get the most success. But I don't think you can do an adequate job, <coughs> excuse me, without using magnetic field therapy, especially for chronic ner nervous system uh, imbalances. And as I started out by saying, uh, with the magnetic field intensity being very important, to reach deep into the spinal cord, to reach deep into the brain, to decrease inflammation. Again, the goal is to decrease inflammation and decrease the hyper excitability or hyper irritability of the nervous system. And that doesn't happen overnight. Damaged nerves take a long time to heal. So you have to be patient. And that's why you need to use a combination of approaches. But I find over the years that there are many, many other techniques and modalities that can be used. And None of them by themselves is 100%. So in other words, you can't just rely on one technique. If you're going to rely on one technique or heavily rely on one technique, then PEMFs, I've learned, are the, one of the better ways to start while you add on the other things and while you get the benefit of all of these other approaches that we discussed in the Chronic Pain Summit. So PEMF therapy can be extraordinarily helpful for decreasing overstimulation. The challenge is going to be to do it right. And for that purpose, I do offer consultations to people on drpollock.com uh, to be able to figure out which magnetic system is the best for you. The, pro the other problem that people have in terms of picking the wrong system is they make the decision based on price alone. 
without understanding magnetic field therapy or how it works or the mechanisms or how to properly use it to get the best long-term result. So consultations are important and that's the other reason why the book is important. And then again, I have a ton of information on drpollock.com about these different issues. So informing yourself becomes an important part of your journey to help you with your, uh, your, your health issues and your nervous system uh, problem. So one of the questions that Jennifer asked is, does an unbalanced nervous system perpetuate chronic pain? Absolutely, absolutely. If your nervous system is overexcited, then any kind of stimuli can affect it. And one of the topics that I'm especially interested in is the impact of chronic pain on the brain. And I call that the chronic pain brain. And there's one or two episodes in the, um, in the Summit series about that as well. And the fact that you need to use magnetic field therapy, especially, but other, you know, again, the other components of um, how we manage chronic pain to quiet down the amount of inflammation. So inflammation in the body in general affects chronic pain. The irritable brain becomes sensitive to any stimuli in the periphery. So people with, who, whose brains have been significantly impacted by their pain, even touching the skin can fire off nerve receptors in the brain uh, th that do not, are not pain receptors in terms of the spinal cord but they're just receptors. And any information going into the brain becomes, at, becomes uh, registered in the brain as a pain type signal. And so what you have to do then is to quiet down the brain. And one of the key mechanisms for doing that is magnetic field therapy that you can target to the brain itself that decreases the inflammation. Um, so there, was some, there were studies done in animals where they had a head injuries and they, treat, they, they discovered that the head injuries um, activated and triggered all sorts of uh, inflammatory molecules that they were able to measure. And they found that magnetic field therapy impacted those inflammatory molecules and they decreased them. So they measured the, it, those inflammatory molecules in the spinal fluid of these animals and discovered that there was a significant reduction in the inflammation. Now, the sooner you start treatment after an injury to the brain, the better. The sooner you start treating your chronic pain aggressively, the better before it becomes a chronic pain brain. But once it does, then again, you have to use all these uh, components and mechanisms together to be able to, to help yourself. So complicated, um, easy question, complicated answers. So you, you can bring the nervous system back into balance using uh, nutrition and supplements, and then everything else that we discuss in the chronic pain summit.